part I would say is probably one of the more challenging parts of your project. And our goal is what we want to do is we want to get strength through our tube, hang it around the wire that's on the inside here, and then have it pop out the other side. And that's kind of one of those things that's easier said than done. I try my best to come up with a much easier way of going through the process. So let's go through and try to knock that out with all of our three chimes. So next we're gonna be moving on and going through the process of gathering all the materials that we need. Now, you gotta make sure that before we get to this next step, you went through and installed these little wires through here. That way we can very easily hang everything up and not have any issues. So we did that in a previous video or maybe as a demonstration that you watched in class. So for materials, very basic. Of course, you gotta have your three chimes all ready to go. Um, three of these little strings. These are the longer out of the ones that I have pre-cut in class, if that I did cut them for you. These, if you would measure them against a ruler, are two feet long each. And you need a total of three of them. After that, we also need to grab one of these, I don't know exactly what to call it. It's one of my little own inventions. I'm just gonna meant, like call it, it's like a feeding stick. It has a little loop at the end that I made out of a paper clip, taped it to a long dowel rod, and it's gonna help us feed the string right through the pipe and do it the correct way, which is gonna be one of the more challenging parts of our project. So the easiest way to knock this out is first, we wanna take this little feeding stick with a little loop at the end, take one of our strings, and we're actually gonna feed it through kind of like a needle and tie it off. Now when you do this, I think we only just need one knot because this is not something that's gonna be permanent. And just make sure the tail is not super long like right here. After we get that done, we're going to take the wind chime over here and the top is going to have this little hanging wire closest to it. The bottom is going to usually be further away. We're going to start probably from the top and feed straight down. Now one thing we have to look out for, it doesn't matter really at this step, but it will won't eventually when we come back up through, is we're going to go to the left or the right of that wire that's internal or inside. So after we do that, we're going to take our little, little feeding wire stick slide it down through. You might have to take these little wires here on the outside and kind of move them. And then we're just gonna feed it through until it pops out the other side, just like this. After that, then we can untie it and it should pull off just like that. Take the stick out. So at this point we have our string popping out both sides. So the one that sticks out on the little hanging wire side, we don't wanna touch and be careful that you don't accidentally pull it through. So what we're gonna do next is take our little feeding wire stick and we're actually gonna start instead of the bottom, we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna feed it through. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is you have to know which side that you're feeding it through. So if we look straight down, it's hard for you to see on camera, but I can tell that this string is actually on the right side or the side closest to me. And if we take a look at the top of the tube, it's gonna be on this side for me. For you, it could be on the other. So with that being said, I gotta make sure that when I feed this stick through, I wanna be on the opposite side. That way when the whole thing loops around, it's gonna connect with that one piece little wire right here. If I have it on the same side, all that's gonna happen is one, you're gonna get frustrated, and two, it's gonna have the wire or the cord that we're using here pop out the same side and it's not gonna wrap itself around. When we look down through, we gotta make sure that we know exactly which side that little string is on, as well as which side this little piece of hanging wire is attached to. You might wanna take the wire itself and you can actually spin it a little bit, so that way it's touching the same side that this cable is on. You're gonna have to hold that for a little bit, and then we're gonna take this little feeding stick, put it from the top down, and I'm gonna make sure that it's on this side, which is the opposite for where the string came from. Feed it through till it pops through the other side, just like that. And then very carefully, I'm just gonna take it, feed it through the end here, threading it kind of like a needle, and I'm gonna tie it off. And this whole time, we don't wanna yank on it too hard or else we're gonna have the string pop the whole way through again and have to redo it again. So here, I'm gonna take the end of the stick here and usually what I like to do is just try to pinch the tail that's sticking out just between my fingers so it doesn't fall. And I'm just very carefully gonna pull this up through the other side. And if we did it the right way, 
what's going to happen is when you pull back on both pieces, you're going to feel it's actually caught and you can kind of see right here when I pull it, that little hanging point, that wire, it's actually moving, which is a good thing. So if you did it correctly, it's going to loop around. You're going to have two tails sticking out this side. Then I'm going to take the ends here, untie it, which might be a little tricky. Really depends on how tight your knot was. And then we should have two little tails that stick out right there like that. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is pull those tails so they're nice and even, just like that. Leave about maybe an inch, and then we're going to go, and this time we're just going to single knot it. And here's the reason why. I know I said earlier in a couple of videos before, we should always triple knot, but in this case we're only going to do a single because eventually we have to hang this thing up on the little mounting plate and that knot for where the final hanging point is going to be where it gets tied off is probably going to be down here a little bit further so we just have to single knot 